Three years ago, I was feeling pretty damn depressed and struggling until we found that food could be a massive healer for me. And it has revolutionized my life. So I'm gonna share with you the eight things we did to get started on this diet that we've been doing for the last three years. So the first thing was we made a plan. We planned out what we were going to be eating and how we were gonna do that. We read some books on it. And that way we were prepared so that we could stick it out for the long run. And the second thing that I have done is shopped around. The food that we started eating wasn't necessarily stocked in the stores we were previously been shopping in. So it was good to check out whole food shops, organic shops, even did some shopping online. We found iHoop to be really good for organic food and often it was a bit cheaper as well. When you go into shops, ask them if they have those products because if they hear people asking for it, they might start stocking them too. It's been amazing how many times I've asked about something, they haven't had it, and then a few weeks later I've gone in and seen that they've started to bring them in. So it's worth putting it out there into the universe. Third thing is, I decided that it was okay that my food was gonna cost more. I was gonna be eating high nutrient dense quality food and that was gonna come with a higher price tag. But I didn't want to be spending less money on rubbish garbage food that didn't have nutritional value. That food isn't really real food. I realized that even though I'd be putting in more money into food now, I'd be making huge savings in terms of health and well-being in the future, for, from doctor's visits to not missing as much work. Also, I'm worth spending that money on to have good health. I'm worth it and you're worth it as well. The fourth thing was really deciding to do the diet. Not just try it, but really do it and make a huge life change. Now, it's easy to go, okay, I'm just gonna eat the unhealthy stuff in moderation and I'm gonna eat more healthy food. But for me, I was an addict to things like sugar and all that other unhealthy stuff. And I needed sobriety. I needed to cut it out of my life so that I could really focus on what was good for me and healthy and start craving and wanting that. Number five is be strong and ask for help. Real strength is in numbers. The best way to get started is to surround yourself with supportive people. People who will help you with making that food, shopping for it, or maybe even help financially to make the diet possible for you. You might be surprised how much those around you want to help and just need to be asked. Asking for help is such an important topic that I will be doing a separate video on it. So subscribe to the channel, push that little bell icon so you get notified as soon as it comes out. So number six is chuck the junk. So I went through my cupboard and I got rid of everything that we weren't gonna be eating anymore. It made such a difference to have that out of the house. Now, it's a bit hard to throw in the rubbish, I can understand that, and I actually gave it to somebody who I knew would be eating that way anyway, and it would save them a bit of money, but I gave them a rubbish bag and said, if any of this isn't what you wanna be eating, chuck it. However you choose to do it, I'd recommend chucking the junk. Number seven is recipes. It's good to have some simple basic stuff that you can do, and especially things you can do in a crunch because there will be time pressures at times. Um, putting some stuff in the fridge, freezer is always a good idea. And good to have some exciting recipes. You want some food that's gonna make you excited that you're on this diet rather than feeling like you're missing out on everything in the world. The eighth thing is that sugar is out. For us was sugar is out, fat is in. And by switching those two, it actually led to us snacking less because this was one of the funny things. It was like, oh no, with this new diet, all of my snacks are gone. What am I going to snack on? But by adding in all those healthy fats, it actually filled us right up and we don't actually snack that much anymore. So sugar's out, fat's in. Um, so the last one I've got a bonus for you is you're gonna wanna come up with a very strong reason about why you're gonna do this. There's gonna be hard times, there's gonna be times when you're gonna miss and crave things that you used to eat before, and having a big reason for doing it makes a huge difference in sticking with it. For me, it was getting over the depression, and when I started to see results, started to see my mood lifting, and also noticed when I did eat things that weren't healthy, how much it affected my mood. It was a huge motivator to stick with the diet. So find what motivates you. I'd really recommend that it's something health related. And believe me, appearance will just come along with it. When you get healthy, you'll look healthy too. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope those have been really helpful for you. Those are what got me started on this diet and it has made such a difference in my life. 
If you want to hear more about this, we're going to be doing a whole lot more on food as well as on other things to do with anxiety, then please like, subscribe and push that notification button so that you can hear when the next one comes out. See ya!